Hey, guys, over here. Over here. Today, I've seen something cool across the road. Uh, the osprey is eating trout out of my neighbor's pond. But uh, they have such good eyesight that I can't just go over there in normal civilian clothing. He'd be gone before I even get across the driveway. So Hannah helped me do some camouflage and uh, we've got some camo for the gear and we're gonna try to sneak over and take pictures of him without him taking off. But if he does take off, we're gonna set up, hence the camo, and lay in wait and see if we can get him when he comes back. So here we are at the trout pond, guys. Uh, he actually left before I got a chance to come over, but he likes to land in uh, that tree there, that tree there. And I'm just gonna set up somewhere along the edge of the bush here, somewhere, and try to catch him. Maybe try to get some action shots of him diving into the pond. It's full of trout that uh, my neighbor wins stalks, speckleds, rainbows. So I'm actually back a little further from the pond than I wanted, but uh, I've got a pretty good shot of the trees that he's been landing in the last couple nights, so. Okay, there he is, he's come back. I've got a couple, I can get some shots here, but the, I'm not as close as I want to be. good start. Well, he never did land in the pond. He took off immediately as soon as I rustled around, so I don't think my camo did squat, <laughs> but we tried. I'm sitting here on stakeout at Winds, and there comes a deer. Funny. She has no clue I'm here. Up all over my good camo. I'm just sitting here at the edge of the pond trying to GoPro the trout. I threw some pellets in there and I can hear the osprey. He's just off in the distance so I'm gonna move. He might come back. Uh, right in here it's full of deer. Uh, every day between our two yards we've probably got you know a minimum of four deer coming through our yards. And I've seen as many as 9 or 10 at night, so. Lots of deer in here, coyotes, um, small things, fishers, fox, weasels, you name it. If it's in northern Ontario, it's here. Can you hear that? Right there. I'm kind of hidden in the forest now. I moved away from the pond. Of course, my camera's across the pond, up by the house, and now I'm trapped. He's gonna come back and I can't get to it. Oh, I should go get my camera. I know it. I gotta go back. 
I can get the camera. I got the camera. But as soon as I got within 70 feet of him, he took off. He's still there. You can hear him. But it's not a good idea to chase. That's not the one I was after. I got some video and a couple of pictures of him. Freaking cool. So luckily we didn't have to chase this guy. He just flew from one tree over to another. And uh, we're just going to leave him alone and not stress him out too much. Pretty cool though. So my persistence paid off guys. It took about three hours but I got some great shots, video. And uh, the day's not over. We're going to go back to my place and chase some deer around. And uh, check the trail cameras. I put out some fruit. So we'll throw the trail camera stuff at the end of this video. Thanks for joining me guys. I'm going to clean up and uh, you guys enjoy the rest of the clips from the trail camera. Feel like a new man. So I was just going through the trail cam footage and uh, we got one eyed Jack which is our fisher. He only has one eye. Well one of our fishers. And uh, I have a really cool scene. Unfortunately, there's a stick that has fallen down in front of the camera. So it's creating a big white line on the camera. But you can see one-eyed Jack rooting around for food. And then in the background, you see two eyes behind him. And then he starts moving. And then whatever it is starts running, af chasing after him. So, and we had a coyote go through uh, in the scene before that. So did one-eyed Jack meet his demise? I don't know, but check it out. It's pretty cool.